with a net profit, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I know how to make a quarter million dollars in five minutes. So that's called scalping, bro. And I mastered that shit by just watching the game. This shit, the Matrix, and I'm Neo. Everyone in the hood has a hot verse, but the chances of making it big are slim to none. Chad's a computer genius who went from a total unknown to a chart-topping artist in just a few months' time with the help of a cheat code known as bots. We're going to take you into the matrix. We're going to take you into the dark side of money making with AI. $250,000 in five minutes. AI is getting crazier by the minute. We came across this crazy video that we're going to break down where this guy made 250 k with AI bots. But it's also on the crazier side. You may say to yourself, you may not want to get involved with this. You may want to get involved with this. We're here to reflect what's going on in the world right now. Money is being made, whether we like it or not. You need to be aware of what's happening so that you can use AI to your advantage. Maybe you want to be, go be on the good side. Maybe you want to be on the, the dark side. We're telling you what's happening. So with this, what's super, super nuts is that there's a world out there where you think when you're looking, let's say, at music, that these artists that propel themselves to new heights, that it kind of happened organically, but it's not. There's this whole system. There's this whole web of AI bots, phone systems that are giving views to these videos that then propel these artists, and then they actually start making real money. So Dave, what are your thoughts after watching this video? Well, <laughs> number one, it's fascinating, something we never knew existed kind of been happening in the underground. And it's interesting to see, uh, I'm gonna have to wrap my mind around how we can ethically use this to make money, right? But it's interesting to see how the dark side is doing uh, using AI bots. And I think it's also fascinating to see that they can kind of work up the uh, the numbers, right? The, the number of streams. So now they get ranked higher in Spotify or in the in the case of what he said at first, he was using bots to to buy tickets low and then selling them high that kind of thing in a little bit we'll show you some more of that video and it's fascinating how he was able to use ai bots in many different ways now again the ethics of this might be in question right so you and i might not want to do this but it's important to know what's happening it's important to know what's available out there because you may be able to use it in ethical ways now i have no problem with actually buying something low and selling high that's been like my whole life right in fact, back in the day, I used to actually buy concert tickets to rock concerts. We would go to Ticketmaster and go ac actually sit out there at 5 a.m. and wait in line and be the first in line and buy the tickets physically, right? And then we'd go to school and we'd sell, we'd resell the tickets for more money. Well, I have no problem with that. And that's just buy low, sell high, right? So that's not, I don't have any, any issue with, with what he's doing there. Uh, the Spotify, you know, that thing, that sounds a lot more like cheating to me, right? Like <laughs> you're cheating, you're, you're pushing your way up the rankings using bots and that kind of thing, right? So those are a couple of my initial thoughts, uh, James, on this. And I'm looking forward to seeing how we can turn this into ethical money for us, right? Well, let's play the clip. Let's roll the clip, Dave, and then we're going to comment it after this clip. Bots are computer programs that are designed to act like humans online, only lightning fast and far more efficient. Some people use bots to buy up high demand products, jack up the price and resell them for a big profit. Others program bots to rack up fake streams on Spotify or generate likes and comments on their social media pages to appear more successful than they really are. The lines are so blurred between legitimate business and these fraudulent schemes that you can't really tell which is which. You ever tried to buy tickets to a concert and it instantly said sold out? Or have trouble finding the hottest pair of sneakers? Well, that's because a bot beat you to the punch. You'll end up buying those same tickets or sneakers on the resale market at premium price from the same people running those bots. And most online consumers are clueless to this type of manipulation, especially in the music industry. So first of all, we've all kind of seen parts of this, but maybe not realize how deep this runs. Like for example, Taylor Swift, just had a concert and everybody online was freaking out because like they were there 30 seconds after it ran, you couldn't get any tickets. Guess what? Because this kind of thing's going on. Now I'm not saying Taylor Swift is in on this, but according to this video, a lot of these big companies, that's what they're doing. They're, they're saying, okay, our ticket prices are $100 a ticket. Now you might say that's too high as it is, 
but they may be in fact buying their own tickets and then selling it to you for 500 bucks. We don't know. That's the kind of stuff that's happening. You look at the resale sneaker market, which is just billions of dollars. A new hot shoe comes out at Foot Locker or Nike, whatever, and these bots are buying. Now you might say, well, that's the way the game's being played. Maybe you want to look into bots because maybe you want to buy low, sell high. Other people might say as a consumer, I want to buy my shoes for a hundred bucks. I don't want to have to buy them for $2,000. But the fact is that this game is happening. So maybe we need to bring more social awareness and, and go after these big companies that they shouldn't be doing this. Maybe you see this as an opportunity that you can use systems or tools with AI in general. And this goes back to this premise that we keep talking about. Use AI for good. Use AI for you to be get, become more efficient, to do better, to make more money, because it's happening on a large scale. You cannot compete with AI. And that's the whole point of our channel here is that you need to use AI. You don't want to go out in the wilderness without survival stuff. Okay, you don't want to go out there without clothes and without being able to make fire. You need to start using these tools your way ethically to make money because if you don't, you're going to just get railroaded by those that do. So be aware of what's going on and we hope that we're bringing light of that to you. It's also interesting. I've noticed uh, I've noticed bots being used in Facebook ads. Uh, so for example, somebody runs a Facebook ad about a particular product and on that Facebook ad, if you read the comments, you're reading the comments and you're like, this doesn't sound like a human wrote this. And then there's lots and lots and lots of positive comments about that product. And there's so many that it's unnatural, right? You can tell this is unnatural in a normal positive comment string. You might see three or four positive comments. This one, it's like a whole row, of just positive, positive, positive. And it feels a little artificial. I think they're using bots for that uh, as well. And those lines are getting blurred because in his example, he's he's saying it how it is. He's saying, okay, I'm I'm a rapper. I'm an artist. If I didn't do this, I couldn't have made it. It's kind of like if you look at bodybuilders at a certain point in time, some of them say, we're all juiced up. We're all taking steroids because if I don't take steroids, I'm not going to compete. Now, should that be the case? And then maybe then it, then things go the other way where it's like, well, this is a natural bodybuilding competition. But a lot of people just don't realize, and you're looking at this with politics, don't think that this isn't going on with politics in other areas of the world where there's just all these droves of, of bots putting out disinformation. So it's harder and harder for us to see it. But if we all know the game, well, maybe maybe, maybe that's the, the, the unfair reality of the 1% of 1% of 1% that make it as a music artist, for example, or make it in some of these other areas that maybe you have to use AI to get seen above the noise that's there. That's the reality that we're in and that's what we're wanting to expose to you. We see this is happening in the music business. We see they're kind of juicing up the numbers to, to increase, you know, stream numbers and actually increase income, right? Because they get paid based on number of streams, uh, but also mainly increase popularity so that it, it goes up. It's kind of like building social proof for that uh, that particular artist. Yeah, and, and and we want to hear your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this? Do you think that this is crazy? Is this eye-opening? Is this terrible that that's being done? Let us know your thoughts not just on this premise, but AI in general, it's really enlightening because society over time is going to take a while for them to catch up. And so all this stuff's going on. It's going to take years for there to be AI legislation. It's going to be years before they they say, you can't, you can't do this kind of stuff. So now is an interesting opportunity where AI is so open right now that we can use things to our benefit. We're at a really, really interesting time. And that's why it's so important to be on top of this, be on top of our videos, watching what's going on, because it's such a fascinating time to be involved with AI. It is. And it, and it, and that's why it's so important to stay subscribed, not only to this channel, but also I want to put a little plug in here, James, for our AI newsletter, because we bring you the most incredible, up-to-date, hottest stuff about the AI world. We bring you exclusive videos that James and I produce just for the newsletter. We don't put those anywhere else. We bring you all the latest tools and strategies and resources in that AI newsletter. Now you could subscribe to the free version. We also have a paid version, but we recommend you get the, the free version first, check it out. And you could even check out a free trial to our newsletter as well. And just get a, a sense of all the goodies that are in there that we've put together just for our paid subscribers. So we hope you'll at least get that free version of our AI newsletter in the description box below. And we'll see you next time on Making Money with AI.